Anna St. Louis' first songs comes out November 3rd. Colin Patrick Smith courtesy of the artist Anna St. Louis' finger pick patterns wander through John Faffey and Elizabeth Cotton Fields, her voice soft and warm tall grass in a long day's sun. Her debut solo release, First Songs, looks to 60s folk, but the L.A.A.B.A. singer-songwriter comes from Kansas City punk and the Philly art scene. Both her background and shifting locales are a reminder that what we often call familiar, especially in regards to musical style, is almost always a collection of experiences. There's rarely a singular moment informing it all. First Songs is coming out on Kevin Morby's Mare Records, an offshoot of Woodsist 288, in particular, shares the laid-back vibe cultivated by both labels, a low-dangling cigarette of psychedelic folk accompanied by spacey slide guitar. Even in the song's natural droning state, St. Louis hiccups like an old country singer as she counts off the fly and blackbirds, in geometric lines and the time bomb ticking until we die as she gets close to a mysterious man and the violence he holds in. First Songs comes out November 3rd via Mare Records.